This is Daniel Tal from Placemaker, and I'm going to demonstrate Placemaker version 3, how to import the various data that we have available with our new version, and also talk about the credit system when you import in data. So all the different data sets, some of them you can see here, include buildings, aerials, roads, paths, water, and the one I'm most excited about is terrain, and I'll demonstrate that as well. We also have our 3D city mesh import and our Ecopia smart site, which is a survey-like import as well. And I'll demonstrate those in, in a series of videos. And just as a reminder, we have two ways to access the data in Placemaker. You can do a pay-as-you-go system or a subscription. And I'm going to talk about that when I import in the various data sets here. But you can also see there's a link to a separate video on how the credit system works, how you purchase it, and how it impacts the data sets you're importing into SketchUp. I'm going to go over importing in our buildings from Placemaker. There's two building sets here, OSM, which is OpenStreetMaps, and Microsoft. OpenStreetMaps has universal global coverage for the entire planet and it is based off the available data on any given location. And the Microsoft building set is for areas in the United States that aren't covered by OpenStreetMaps, and this is around 220 million types of buildings, so most of the United States. We're going to start with OpenStreetMaps. I'm just going to click on the aerial and import buildings. And with everything that works with Placemaker, just it takes a few seconds for it to kick in. And here you have Placemaker confirm your order. Again, this is credits for the buildings. There's seven credits if you're using the pay as you go version. And if you were using or if you had a subscription, you wouldn't pay any credits for the OpenStreetMap data. So I'm going to, and you, could, you can pan around here to see the buildings. I'm going to click on confirm order. And now the buildings are imported into Placemaker and to SketchUp. I'm going to show another example of importing in buildings. This is a more rural location outside of Omaha, Nebraska, in the United States. I'm going to click on the aerial and I'm going to go to the buildings tab and select OSM and click Import Buildings. And it's saying that it requires two credits, but it doesn't have all the buildings in here, as you can see. It only has some of them. And so this is not a complete building set that we want, at least for the United States. So I'm going to hit Cancel and wait for that to refresh. And instead, I'm going to click on, again, Buildings tabs right here. I'm going to click on Microsoft, and I'm going to click on Import Buildings. And the Microsoft data set, which, again, covers most of the United States, and it has all these buildings, it will require more credits. So again, the buildings and the aerials do require the most amount of credits. But if you're a subscriber, there's a 50% discount for Microsoft Buildings in the United States. I'm going to hit Confirm Credits, but you can see that it has, in this preview, it has all the buildings for this location. And keep in mind, you can actually adjust the import settings here in terms of adding roofs and default building heights to make sure you get something more accurate. But here it is, high resolution aerial. The Microsoft buildings uh, actually fill in. And Microsoft buildings are for primarily for the United States. And I'm going to do another example for an international location next. Placemaker does work globally. And I'm going to do another video on global cities sometime in the future and do kind of an international placemaker tour. I'm just going to go through some quick examples so here's one, this is Cordoba, and has high resolution aerials and some really detailed buildings in it. 
Dubai, that's the Burj Dubai in the core of Dubai in the UAE. Nice aerial buildings. Can do the roads as well. We we'll put in all this water, but just showing that in terms of context. London, London, and a lot of these cities, they're very large, and there's almost all the data is there for them internationally. Here's London. See roads, even some trees in the parks. This is Madrid, the Madrid Central Annex. And you can see the main square. Really dense roads, high resolution aerial, really clear views. And this data sets are always evolving. They're always getting better since we launched Placemaker three years ago till now. The aerials have improved, the coverage of buildings has improved globally. Here's Mumbai. Seoul, South Korea, nice high-resolution aerial, some detailed buildings. Vancouver, Toronto, another one, um, Paris, all these other locations. Here's Vancouver, really detailed kind of layers of information. And again, like this one actually has our new feature of rails, but really a very good amount of building coverage. And I plan to do some more videos in the future about our global coverage.